Hey, welcome to this uh, Inkscape tutorial on how to create a cartoony mascot logo using the pen tool and some basic shapes. In this video, you will learn how to draw with the pen tool, how to duplicate objects or group of objects, and some and how to add some uh, blush to the cheeks of your cartoon character as well as a few a few other things as well a few other tricks and tips of uh, working with inkscape okay so with that said let's let's get started let's jump right into the video okay first of all if the ruler is not showing make sure you hit uh, ctrl r to show the ruler then you drag it from the corner there to the middle make sure it's placed in the middle of the work area and then you start using the uh, select the pen tool and start working start drawing half the half side of the head of the character just adjust it adjust the notes until it's okay it looks almost like a circle half of a circle then you change the feel or remove the stroke to remove the stroke hold down shift and click on the that x sign down there and for the dreads let's just try to make the sharp spikes for the dreads and keep drawing the hair join that together and make some adjustments now hold down control and click on those nodes those points to make it curved and suggest that Okay, now let's try to draw the cross part of the, the hair. Let's make that selection outside of the head for now. We'll then crop it out later on. Once again, make some adjustments. And now Duplicate the the head, select the two, go to path and choose intersection. So I crop it to not to exceed outside of the head. And once again you can make your adjustment if you are not okay with it. With how it looks. You can see that the stroke is still selected. Let's unselect that by clicking, holding down control shift and Clicking on that X down there and now for the ear, notice the opacity is down so turn it up and increase the stroke. I want the stroke to show for the ear in particular. So I increase it and then make another circle, make this one black, put it inside for the ear. We group them together and send them behind. Make some adjustments against that cross part of the hair. Let's just move the ear around, adjust it a bit more. Alright, take the pen to leg in and draw the beard. Just make it how you want it to be, how you want the beard to look. You have the freedom to make that. Okay. Sometimes I turn the magnet, the snapping on, snapping to snap to guide on points on, especially when I'm trying to draw close to the the line in the middle, so the guide in the middle, so that it snaps and everything is properly aligned in the middle, not to exceed. That's something you want to take note of. It's right up there in the right corner. Okay, now we're trying to draw the eyes. I just created a circle for the eyelashes, then created another circle and turn it the other way for the eyes the white part of the eyes and then for the pupil the normal circle now using a stroke create a straight stroke with the pen tool again and increase the the size and then the mustache and let's just use a pen tool to draw the mustache as i'm doing here Mm 
Okay, well, I'm trying to draw the mouth. It's a smile. It's the note too, I just adjust one corner, make it curved. And I'm drawing this stroke for the teeth, the smile. Let's make some adjustments. Okay. Let's adjust. And then for the nose again, create a triangle control for one side to make it curved and then drag it down, reduce the opacity. Choose a color that is dark, a darker color like a grey color and then reduce the opacity. Now for the blush, choose a pinkish color. Reduce, uh, adjust the opacity and especially the blur to make it into that blush. Now we are done. Select everything, group, and duplicate. Make sure you remove the that line in the middle that we added earlier. The guide. And now you ungroup it and try to join everything together separately by using uh, going to path and union. After selecting the two objects that you want to group, that you want to unite and delete some extra nodes that you no longer need let's keep making some adjustments after I delete the nodes just adjust everything once again delete these extra nodes and make your adjustments unite to union to join them together and for those that are those parts are not close to each other, we just group them. Send to the back for the ear. In the mouth, I like to adjust it, especially the stroke, make it bolder. Yeah, now it's basically just adjusting things I'm not okay with. Just make these adjustments. Yeah, satisfied. I group the eyes all together into separate eyes and then put them together and increase the size. And the positioning I think it looks better this way I didn't like how it looks at first and then for that middle here you hold down control again and make it curved as well okay now I like to turn the eyebrows into path so we're going to go to path and stroke to path to do that you might want to do that for all the strokes if it's a logo you're sending to a client or if it's your preference okay so let's create the the bow tie now if you noticed i used the same technique i used for the um, the nose earlier to make the two sides curved after drawing the triangle you make sure you use the pen to draw this triangle i tried doing this with the normal triangle it didn't work out this way so use the pen to to create the triangle manually before making the bow tie then duplicate put them together like i did earlier and you add your highlights however you want highlights and your shades all right now you are done group everything together and that's it for this tutorial i hope to see you again in the future if you like this hit the like button subscribe and if you have any questions any requests to make maybe for a future video you can always drop it in the comment section Thanks again for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.